My name is Oliver. I'm co-founder of Yuka Lab. Uh, that's Ulrike. We're a Berlin and Zurich-based startup with core competencies in NLP, machine learning, and AI. And uh, let me start off with what's the problem we're trying to solve. It's a very generic problem that you know from your job. There's simply too much information. Uh, maybe uh, catching up to the presentation of suburbia, too much data, and you need to, to be able to constantly read that, analyze that, and take that into account when you make decisions. And uh, we have come up with an augmented language intelligence technology that can actually read and analyze uh, unstructured text data, so professional financial news, uh, like a human, and uh, tell you the sentiment for every company, for every sector, for every index, and that way uh, you can actually compare that over time and have an overview uh, of the sentiment instead of uh, like here. So today, how we do it today, we go to the office, uh, we're captured in a filter bubble, and we pick random articles that we read. Maybe you read five articles, if you're good, 10 to 20, uh, and then you get this very unprecise gut feeling about the market. Maybe you have something like trade war, Trump, in your mind, but it's very high level. So you don't have a precise gut feeling uh, for every company, and you cannot compare it over time. So with our technology, uh, we do exactly that. We analyze more than 200,000 articles every day from 20,000 global sources and give you a very precise sentiment indication for every company, every index, every country, and so on. And that way, uh, you really have a sparings partner that's very rational and that looks at the whole financial media landscape to make up that assessment. So uh, let's look at our product portfolio. We have a software as a service offering that I will show you just in a couple of seconds. We have an API and we have web components. So uh, we have the news lab. That's a very general part. It shows you where's the sentiment trend shifting, what topics are causing those shifts, and then you have access to the full text licensed print media to get a background about those topics. In the trend lab, we give you an early warning system that tells you on these aggregated sentiment trends when there is a shift, so whether you need to buy or sell a sector, or whether you should decrease or increase your investment ratio. So uh, enough of the slides. Maybe for a change, uh, let's look at the live product and have some fun. Here you can see our Yuka Lab News Lab uh, and the Trend Lab. Uh, you can see from the color, you immediately know uh, which entities got positive uh, news coverage, which ones got negative ones. You can see the percentage number, that's the precise sentiment indicator, and the arrow behind, that's the trend compared to the time frame you look at. At the bottom, you always have the topics that drive these news sentiment shifts, and uh, on the left-hand side, you have the respective articles. So uh, it's like a satellite, and when you look at the Earth, you can see some developments that you can't see if you stand on its surface. It's the same if you look at single articles, you can't really see what's ha happening. So here you have the big picture, and then you zoom in. For example, uh, she zoomed in on a, an index, the Nasdaq. You can see the, the sentiment of the different constituents, and uh, you can see the sentiment over time. You see the number of articles for any given day. And then uh, you can choose any kind of company that you're interested in to get some more detail on. So maybe you click on a company. So uh, we're switching to Tesla now. Uh, maybe you get some more time frame. So here you can actually really recapture the story of a stock on, on one chart. And you can see, okay, it was actually doing quite well in the media. And then uh, we can see a sudden drop. Critics came out, it got really uh, bad press, and uh, the sentiment value of Tesla dropped. And you can see uh, there in April, that's the, the lowest point in that chart. So let's zoom in on that time frame and see uh, what was happening there. So you can see uh, the lowest point is on the 2nd of April. So uh, we zoom in on the 2nd of April. Down below, I can see uh, the different topics. Maybe let's switch on the data graph to see uh, how they interrelate to each other. So I can actually explore how the different entities uh, mentioned in those texts and the topics uh, are linked together. I can see the different clusters. I can click on one topic here, Easter eggs, uh, which I think is kind of a random Easter eggs, Tesla, what does that have to do? Uh, so just from the visual summary of the data graph, I can see April joke, uh, not met targets, uh, uh, mass sales of cars and Easter eggs. Uh, so I can open 
uh, one of the articles that I think uh, is the most interesting. And then uh, Easter eggs will be highlighted, so you uh, pinpoint uh, where the topic comes from, and I can visualize where Tesla is mentioned in the text. So I come from this satellite picture where I have an overview of the whole financial media landscape and really zoom in until you're on the level of an article. And um, I think that's the way uh, we should be consuming news, uh, sort of like program-based TV and Netflix uh, for news, because uh, first, uh, before you spend your valuable time, you want to see where it's actually something happening, because there is opportunity, and don't waste your time on articles where it's just neutral news. So, uh, of course, you can also uh, pick your portfolio and put together the relevant uh, entities that you want to follow. Uh, we don't only uh, track companies, we also have Elon Musk and Tesla Model 3, so we can also do it for persons, products, uh, and topics. Uh, so that makes it more interesting and more complete uh, to get an overview about an industry or a certain company. So, in addition to this news lab, we also have the trend lab. That's actually our vertical uh, for investment managers. So here we really aggregate the sentiment for 19 economic sectors according to the ICB cluster. You can see that on the left-hand side. And a sector can either be uh, positive, negative, or positive, but already has a warning. And uh, if we click on a specific sector on the right-hand side, then in gray, the upper line, that's the price index. And there you see specific entry and exit signals, which are generated based on the financial models, which really base on the sentiment of the news. So you get a specific entry signal, a stop losses trickle, and then you get an exit signal. Uh, so really easy to understand signals made out of uh, a million of data points from the news. And that's the backup for your own gut feeling. In addition, uh, on top of all these 19 economic sectors, uh, we give you an uh, investment ratio. So that's the number on the uh, bottom left. This is actually the most important number. Uh, if it's at 100%, everything is fine. More than half of the sector have a very positive news coverage, uh, so nothing to worry about. Once more than half of the sectors uh, have a negative media sentiment, we advise you to reduce your investment allocation by 50% and then gradually reduce it with every additional sector that falls into the negative. So you can see it's at 31. As you all know, uh, we're in a drawdown in the markets and we got the signal two weeks ahead of the drawdown, so it's working really well. Uh, you can see uh, the archive or the, the, the model goes back to 2005. From 2015 onwards, we have live signals, and since February 2017, uh, we have the first European equity fund uh, that's solely based on sentiment, uh, that's working on our signal. Uh, it's a customer from us. So let's switch back to, to the slides. Um, here we see, again, um, the track record. Uh, next slide, we see the fund, so that's uh, publicly traded, uh, so you can uh, look that up and how it's doing. Um, yeah, to get an overview with our 10 customers and the five POCs that we have, uh, we're not only in the asset and wealth management where you might suspect us, but we already have a number of different use cases because the sentiment indication is really something that can uh, add value to customers and business professionals in many, many different processes and areas. So we're also working with the risk unit and the credit unit of a global bank, Swiss bank. Uh, we have implementations in different robot advisors, so we're in the digital advice sector. Uh, so maybe it'd be interesting to talk to the guys just presented. Uh, we also have uh, clients in the research, so they're using our tool, annotating events, telling a different story, digital storytelling. We work with the Handelsblatt to sell into sales units and uh, also consulting companies. Uh, there we join it up with industry research, so you're not only on top of the news, but you also know a little bit more than everyone else who just reads the newspaper and you can advise him and be the trusted advisor. So, uh, yeah, these are the benefits uh, that you can get from our uh, tool and solutions. You can uh, deliver advisory excellence, make better informed decisions, track the relevant entities in your portfolio, save time, have a lot of high-quality content. We have uh, 7,000 media where we get the full, t full text articles. 
and uh, we deliver actionable insights based on our financial models and our state-of-the-art technology. So here you can see some of the brands we're already working with. Uh, we have customers, we have POC partners, and we have multipliers and partners. Uh, so come by the booth, we're happy to extend that list. Thank you very much.